face, I know this had to be nerve-wracking indeed. All right, let's go through some of the replays. Cam Steele, Mark Schlereth, here is the moment of truth. Well, the trickiest part about this run is he had to come out from underneath the parking garage. You can see at an angle into a left turn. Not much traction there, but he was working so hard on getting the speed. And there you can see... At the, the, at the pinnacle of that jump, he could have cleared a six-story building. You are not supposed to be able to do stuff like that on a motorcycle. And you can see there, landing just a bit off to the left side of the landing. He wanted to spot it exactly on. Actually, it looked like he came off the ramp, and it blew him just a little bit to the left. Please notice on that replay you just saw right there that he is as high as the skyline of the strip of the Vegas casinos. A little bit of drift to the left. See the front tire come to the left? He checks the brake to bring the front end back down. Drifting a bit all the way through. One of the interesting things, when you watch him and you watch that back tire, you'll see him hit the brake. You'll see that back tire stop. And that's what brings the pitch of the bike down. The way he controls that, he flies it like a jet fly. Point of view replay. Here it is. And you can see from that point, it almost looks like he's going to land off the side. And you saw the workers on top, all, it looked like they were running off the side of the landing. That's how much they thought he was drifting. Amy Sanders' reaction. Her fiancé in midair over six stories in the desert sky on a cold and windy night. And now from our helicopter above the strip... 322 feet, 7 and a half inches. Robbie Mac